Hello YouTube. I got something I want to show today. This is uh, my BR1600 made by Boss. I've had this thing since probably 2015. Anyway, bought it brand new. But today we're going to show something that nobody has ever shown. Now I've seen people show this being backed up to a PC uh, and it can be backed up to a Mac or you can transfer songs from BR-1600 to a PC or a Mac. But I'm going to show today, right now i got a USB cable plugged in here. And we got it plugged in over here into this little uh, hub. And what we got here is an iPad, which I do have connected to a monitor. I'm going to show today how you can actually back up or export a song out to the iPad. So let's go into utility. We're going to utility. We're going to go to song. We're going to go to select. And we're going to take this one right here. It's called swinging, swinging doors. It's a gospel song. <laughs> and we'll go go. It's going to take a while to load. These machines were not the fastest. But that's the beauty of them, I think. And why they don't still make these. we're in now I don't I have this right now I could play it from here but I would have to switch see I have these uh, these rolling DS90s and to play it back I would have to go in the back of, of these DS90s because right now they're they're being played back by the analog which is my boat this, this interface here and uh, but I can I've got a digital out going to these monitors but to play it back from this machine I would have to go in the back of the monitor switch it to the digital side but that ain't what we're really trying to accomplish today accomplish they want to show you that this can be even though it don't say in the manual you don't nobody has ever talked about it but you can back up the entire drive or you can ex export a song out to an iPad. Now, right now, let's go on, the, let's go on here. I'm going to bring up my files. And uh, this is already one song. Or it's on, right now, it's showing it's on the T7 Shield. That is my, that is my little Samsung T7 hard drive, external hard drive. So anyway, we're going to go... And uh, we're going to go into utility, and we're going to go over to, uh, let's see, USB, and we're going to go to export. Now, you can back up. If you hit the backup, you'll be able to back up the entire drive. And if you wanted to recover from the drive, you can you can uh, recover your song. You can import songs also to import WAV files. But right now we're going to export. And we're going to export that song, Swinging Doors. We're going to hit the export. Now on here I have it's this way this song is set up. It's uh, uh, two tracks and a vocal track but I have it mixed down to 9 and 10 and right here on here that's 9 and 10 and that's the bounce this is the master so we're going to do the master and select all which is already that we're just going to hit go and uh well, we're not going to save current and uh reloading
I'll take a little bit. Sorry about the air condition if you hear it. Now it's got a right to file. It takes a little bit to write this file. But once it gets written, we're going to go over here to the iPad. And uh, it will uh, go to USB. Now what you're going to see come up is the BR1600 and you're going to see all the folders which would be in the backup but uh, there is a folder called USB and um, well, when it gets done writing this file we'll, uh, we'll show you what it does Takes a little while to write to file. That's just the nature of these machines. The, the 880 was the same thing by burning the CD. It takes a while to write that. So basically, I guess it's, it's, it's just converting it to, uh, to a WAV file. Because these are really not WAV, WAV files in this thing. It's a, it's a proprietary file, I guess. But it's converting it over to a, a WAV file that a computer can see or an AIF file it, uh, that Mac can see, which is probably is AIF. I don't know exactly. Um, what would be the uh, WAV file? So it's what it's doing is converting this into a WAV that can be read by a uh, computer. Okay, now over here, watch on the iPad. What's going to come up? There it is, the BR1600. Now, if we go right there, click on the BR1600. There's all the folders with all the songs. Now, if you go into one of these here, you're not going to understand what's there. It's just a, it's, this is just what the BR1600 contains of with the one song. It's all a bunch of settings and whatever now what happened there I don't know there we go let's get back to here let's go down here to uh, USB this is this is where it's at and there is the WAV file and if I was to play it from here take the song now you can't rename this because it is but what, if I would take that and drag it over here to my T shield we'll copy it in there and then I can see it's going to copy that file over to there because if I do anything with it it's going to mess this up because it's on it's on the USB you don't want to do any uh, any editing, any, any renaming or anything, are you gonna? It just you, because you can't do nothing with it. You got to copy your files from the BR1600 to 
either to the iPad itself or to, if you have a hard drive hooked up to it, which I do. And once it gets copied over here, I can exit. I'll go, I'll show you once it gets copied. All right, there's the song copied. Now, if I go back over here now, and uh, I'm going to um, hit, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit uh, exit, and you'll see it go away. There it is, it's gone. Now it's disconnected from the use from the iPad. So now I can actually go here on this here and we can let me see here. I don't want to play it. I want to rename it. Well, see, it's a wave, Paul. You can see it's a wave. It's a wave. There we go. I can rename it. I got to figure out how. I thought I. I thought it would come up rename. But it don't. Anyway, I can rename the file. And uh, I'll have to figure that out, how to do that. I did it on this one song. I, this Come On In was on there, and I renamed it. So I don't know why I can't rename it. Maybe it's because it's on the external drive. I don't know. Maybe I have to put it on the iPad itself and then rename it. But anyway, that's how you would back up the um, BR-1600 to uh, an iPad. So thanks for watching.